So hello ladies and gentlemen and bots in the background, it's time to head right back into Kona after doing an entire four hour stint like just now of putting sound effects in the background of a previous episode, good god. Um, I was pleased to see that that got plenty of views. Yay! It got like tens. Still good. I'm still happy. Glad people were getting off on the silliness. I'm not going to do that again. For a good long while. Alright. Let's kill this music and get into the game, shall we? It has been a crazy weekend. It's time to get right back into the darkness that is Kona. Uh, pardon me. I'm going to be burping quite a bit. I got this double bubble burper cola. Tickles the back of your nose. How are all y'all? How are y'all doing? That's right, we're in LaChant's house. It is dark. And we've still got plenty to do. Like... What did I find in there? God, I really need to watch some of these older episodes. So, what we're missing is we're missing a tread, right? That's pretty much it. We're missing the tread for the snowmobile. And, uh... Ooh, bread. I think that's it. We've got a gun. We've got ammo. The pot was cold. And the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. Okay, before I go out there in the cold, we need to set up what the hell we're actually doing. Because that's a good question right there. Let's go ahead and pull out our journal for the first time in forever. We've been trying to get to Hamilton's place. We're still missing on the tread here. Uh, I think we really have everything else in place. Find out how to get rid of the big wall of ice. Okay, I think I've already got that done and dealt with. And an old man a bit mad in exchange for caribou. An unpalatable drink. Oh yeah, it's just like a little picture of him. You know, I'm surprised I didn't take his picture. I feel like we need to go check on old man rosary. Huh. Yeah, I think that should be our next step. Check on Old Man Rosary and make sure he's okay. Not worried about these arrows. I'll probably kick myself for not taking pictures of those arrows. Whoa, did you say how long my arm got? Okay, so, map. Where, where are we? Okay, we turn around, take it straight, take it left when we can after the general store, and then take the first right to Old Man Rosary, and make sure that he's okay. I'm sure this will turn out just fine. There won't be any monsters or anything. Ridiculous happening. This this is not that kind of game. This isn't the kind of game with ridiculous shit happening. There's no ghosts or ice monsters or glowing arrows. Those things don't happen in real life, and so they don't happen in this game. I mean, just like real life, smoking affects how long I can run. 
the more I smoke, the longer I can run. It's true. Please don't crash into anything. My sanity depends on it. Also like real life. Ooh. Oh, don't... Don't know if I like that iciness that's going on in the, uh... And the windshield right there. No, not not a fan of that. All right, should be coming up on the right hand side, unless mysterious circumstances keep it from happening. Whoa, 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 whoa! Please, please stop hurting my truck. how the loading system in this game works. Like, I wonder if it loads more than one sector at a time to give a kind of feeling of... I don't even know what to call it. Um, scrolling, I guess? And we never did find that, uh... Where the... Bloody blazes am I? Is this Rosary's house? Yeah, this is Rosary's house. Okay. Okay, this time I know better. Oh, good, you're alive. Oh, uh, let me close the door there. I was checking on you, man. I was worried about you. So, um, no, no, wrong button. Yeah. Just give me a sec. There we go. All right. All right. Say toenails. Oh, wow. No, I gotta get a shot of this booze in your lap. Alright, we're good. Oh, we're totally keeping that picture. Alright, Rosary. Glad you're alive, man. I really mean that. So, I guess we're actually kind of done here. Oh, uh, let me put away any kind of weaponry that might give you ideas to shoot me. Please don't shoot me. And, uh, yeah, I guess now I need to figure out where I'm going next. Hmm... Hmm. You know. Hmm. I think it was the Blaze house that required the magnet. What if the magnet is actually somewhere in that house? And we just missed it. That sounds like a good enough answer to, to go anywhere. Anywhere but here. I'm glad Blades is right. I mean, Rosary is right. All right. I was genuinely worried about that over the weekend. I was like, what if he's not okay? What am I going to do? Who's going to shoot at me then? I really did think things like this. Actually, it's more along the lines of, it's really nice. Like, you're, you're in an icy wasteland in this game. And then suddenly this old man pulls a gun on you. And you don't even care. You're just like, oh, thank God. I'm not the only one around here. The rest are dead or missing. It's kind of worrying. Alright, gotta make this weird U-turn. Wait. I should have made that U-turn by now, I guess. Oh, okay, no, there's the bridge I need. Let's see. That screeching noise in the radio is freaking me out, man. Okay, the Blaze House, Blaz House, should be up ahead. And it should be the first one to the left. 
Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no giant monsters stalking my truck. None of that. None. Of, whoa, 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 whoa. None of that. Have we checked their mailbox? Oh, we're gonna check their mailbox right now. <laughs> eh. Either I already got it or I just don't remember. Okay. I'm a good driver. Is it... Does it say that my gas tank is on empty or full? I can barely tell. No, I think that's full. This reminds me a lot of my uh, stepdad's car, which was a 1970s Pinto. And if you know anything about cars, you know that my life was in danger any time that I went for a ride in his 1970 Pinto. Ah, there's the house. I'm reminding myself. This should be, yeah. Right here, which requires a magnet and string. There's some string in the house, but no magnet. Ooh, an empty can? Aw. Okay, well, let's go inside where it's warm and take a quick second look around. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. So, another thing... While I was um, busy recording all the sound effects to uh, to the first episode, something else occurred to me about the narrator's accent. Now, I was trying to do a Canadian accent on that, and I was failing miserably. Bulbs burnt out. So I was doing little things to sort of make it less likely so that you could tell the difference between my voice and my me narrating my voice. Oh, that's right, there's no jump button. And I noticed that this guy's accent that is narrating, he is Canadian, but He's almost got like a Native American twist to his accent. I can't quite explain it, except that I was sort of hearing it when I was trying to do uh, my own terrible rendition of a Canadian voice. I was actually trying to do a, a really laid back version of Newfoundland dialect, which incidentally is the most entertaining accent. And if you have a chance, just just look up those guys. Talk, like, if you speak English, look up Newfoundland accent and see if you can tell what they're saying. It's like, they're, they're like the Scottish of the, uh, of the Americas. God, I was really hoping that I had missed a, a magnet or something. That doesn't give any light. You're useless to me, TV. This is all useless to me. <sighs> I'm bothered. Um. God, I saw that flag and it freaked me out. Does nobody have any magnets? Does nobody keep magnets in their wardrobe? What the hell am I gonna find a magnet? Cause like that's what I'm missing. That's that's the only thing that's missing. 
Ah. Okay. Well, I have no clue where I'm going to find a magnet, so... Oh, beer time, I guess. Beer clock. Can I throw it at the fire? Oh, it just disappears when I'm done with it. Ooh! He didn't just give me a coat. He gave me a whole setup. Like a suit and everything. Fabulous. Oh, hey, there's money in here. It's in moon dollars. Uh, Carl, what were you doing in the Blas house? Just rifling through drawers. I was looking for a magnet. C Carl, why were you looking for a magnet? I needed one. I needed one so I could attach some string to it. Okay, I'm game. Were you trying to make a radio? No, I was trying to reach something down a long hole. Now keep in mind that this hole was not so deep that I couldn't just put my hand down there. But I needed the magnet to do it. Like I'm I'm not wrong, right? I'm not wrong. I could just I could just fucking put my hand down this place. It's not that it's not that narrow that my hand won't fit. And it's not so deep that I couldn't actually reach over to my shoulder to get that key. You know, dread of dread, what if I'm actually meant to find more of that map? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't start at the beginning of that map. God, I hope there's a tread or something worth walking in there for. I see red things. I don't know what those red things could be. Bullets? Maybe. Flares? Well, ooh, that's spooky. Hang on. Let me turn this off and walk in front of the car. Oh, that's creepy! The whole thing is creepy. But I'm not creepy. Okay. So... Why won't it let me zoom in? Huh. It's really weird that it won't let me zoom in. Here we go. He joined us and said, I'm not creepy. Well, that uh, settles that. I have no idea where to go next. I need a tread. And the thing is, is I can't access much of my inventory while I'm in the truck, which is so dumb. I need a tread, I need a magnet, and I'm pretty sure I already know how to get past that weird wall. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know if the hunt will help me. I really don't want to be taking pictures of uh, of these arrows. Like, how would I remember which one of the arrows I've taken pictures of and which ones I haven't? Stuck to the wood in the cabin of the trailer at the Lachant home. Okay, so that's the ones that I took. Got it. All right, I get it. I feel a bit less lonely. So. Oh yeah, the dynamite. Huh. 
Huh. Maybe if you mark the arrows down on the map to make a shape? Well, this game hasn't been so much that I would need to take this into a different deal. Let me see here. There's one of the Lachant house, but I don't see anything marked on there to make a shape. That might not be it. Secret project. Rosary. There's a couple of cabins. Have I really driven down that road? I don't remember. Well, I mean, we're right next to it. Let's go check it out. Come on, gang. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go on a goddamn adventure. We're looking for treads and a magnet. There we go. Kind of wish I had this radio station in my actual life. I'd listen to this shit. Slow down there, Texan. I'm pretty sure I've already stolen everything I can from there. And if I see a uh, another arrow, I'll, I'll check to see if I have it and then take a picture of it. Keep out. You keep out. It's your property. You should be keeping out of your property. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this is cabin A. So we're gonna double check this place. There wasn't a whole lot to check or not check. Oh. Hmm. Empty bottle. That's weird. Why is there a nighttime bird? Okay, well... Ooh, cigarettes! It was worth it. Totally worth it. Let's smoke said cigarette. Smoke. Flick. Beer. Thought we moved this piece. we go. Checkmate. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. Nothing's really jumping out at me, so... Okay, I'm gonna call this a bust. But that's okay, we've got two other places to check out. Hmm. Can I take that axe too? I want more axes. Uh, still a log because fuck it. We need more wood. And uh, all right, let's go down to the next location. I do feel like there is something down this road that I am not remembering, or that I haven't actually been to. Like, wasn't there a locked cabin around these parts? Yeah, I seem to remember there was like a locked cabin that I couldn't get into. Ah, this is the problem with doing these shows one hour at a time every day. Whoa, 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 there we go. Let's check this joint out. Okay, let me see real quick, where are we? Um, yeah, we're at the cabin. There's some glowing ice back there. Can I get into here? Unlock. Uh, I don't think we've been here. don't see any lights. I also don't see any way to warm up. This is a shack. Well, take all that fire starter twisted fire starter 
And, ooh, beer. No. Nuts and bolts, why not? Just a lantern. Let's actually... I want to switch to the lantern real quick. Huh. Not too much different. You know, it's actually kind of nicer, but I can tell that it doesn't have as far a range. Chainsaw? It'd be too cumbersome to carry around? Yeah, but it would be badass. Uh, to Paul and Jean-Pierre. Do not forget to return the key for the cabin if you have to use it. Interesting. Thank you. Your supervisor. P.S. The next box for that word will be October 12th. Next one is two weeks later. That's good to know. Ooh, another key. Forced cabin key. We're going to a forced cabin! Eh. 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 Come on, one magnet. Ooh! Oh my god, fucking yeah. And ooh, Polaroids, I'll take that. Okay, we're gonna, for a little while at least, let's keep with the lantern. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. And that's just gonna be our, our way of doing things from now on. Okay, forest cabin, forest cabin. All right, well, to the Blase house next. Wait, 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 wait. Where was this forest cabin? Damn it, I really hate the fact that it's not letting me zoom in on this map. Uh, uh, pardon me, while well, I, uh... There we go. Cabin A, cabin B. Well, the Blonde's house is over there, but we're closer to cabin B. Is that the forest cabin they're talking about? Well, there's also a cabin down there, but I think that's the one that we start at. Huh. Maybe that's the cabin they're talking about in the forest. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I seem to remember being in cabin B. To the Blase house. Hip hip and away. There we go. Austin powers this shit. Don't worry, we'll make it. We'll make it. Hey, there we go. Hmm. Blue ice is weird. Uh, I'm take a left, I believe. We'll take us to the gateway that leads back to the main road. Whoa. And, oh, 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 take a left, take a right. All right, woof. I'm a good driver. Whoa, there. Well, I mean, I'm already facing this way. I might as well complete the loop. Come on, you can make it, little truck. You can make it. You can't make it. I'm pushing forward. There we go. See, you can make it. Telling you this music. This is the music America wants. All right. That doesn't come off as too dark, does it? Nah, it's fine. I need string. There we go. Is it dumb? You bet. Is it effective? You bet. There 
All right. Speaking of dumb, a key. What could it be for? Well, considering it says, <laughs> Carl couldn't reach it with his arm alone, but he had more than a few tricks up his sleeve to pick it up. Well, considering that it says shack key, I'm going to assume it goes to the shack. Ooh, a hammer. Steal that. Chainsaw doesn't work. Well, that's unfortunate. Some fire starter. Twisted fire starter. There's a gas can. We don't need another one. I was right. These are flares. Let's see what we got in here. Tread? No. Tread? No. Tread? No. So, okay. We got in here. It was kind of lacklustered. Still in this gas can. And, uh... Yeah, sure. I just stole this man's hammer and gas can for no reason. I didn't need it, but it's mine now. Did I just throw away the water? Well, at least I still have the beer, so the important stuff's still there. And an axe and bullets and a gun. And what the hell? Let's go ahead and put away the flashlight. Did I already do that? I can't remember. Do I still have my flashlight? Is it just part of me? Is it part of Carl? Does Carl actually have a go-go gadget flashlight? Is that what's going on? It is. Okay. <laughs> Noted. So, hmm. Starting to run out of ideas here. That's also creepy. Why would they just have lumber in the backyard just sitting there? Greatest mystery of all. I mean, the logs, that makes sense. They need something to burn on their, uh, their stove. That's fine. But the lumber? That's weird. Can you feel the gas can at a pump? I can. There is a pump at the crazy guy's house. Let me see how to get there real quick. Okay, go down this, past the bridge, take a right, keep going until the road ends. I think that could work. Let me take a sip. And let's go, and maybe we'll get a second chance to see this guy's tread. I know that, that that's what you want to see. You want to see the guy's tread. Yeah. His sexy, long, plated tread. what all the women want to see. Oh, your snowmobile tread is so metal and made of matter. How did you get it so long? Well, you see, I, uh, I connected one plate to the other in rapid succession until I got a tread this long. Ooh, that must have taken forever. I shouldn't write romances. Bumpity bumpity bump. Nothing's better than when my favorite song repeats over and over again. Oh man, I'm so glad I got some ginger ale. It's Canada Dry! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That was a joke! I do kind of feel like I deserved that. 
Nice to meet you. Yep, the driving portion of this game, that's the most rocking part of all. Although, I gotta admit, there's plenty of times in my life where I've driven through snowy or rainy weather and felt this kind of way where it's just kind of like, Nope, it's just you and me, truck. These lights and, like, the fucking weirdest radio station in the goddamn world. And, uh, yeah. Driving nighttime in, uh in Trucker Simulator has a very similar feel. Mm. Gas can. Alright, should be back here. We will have some extra gas for us. Oh, never mind. It's not letting me fill up an extra gas can. Yeah, just the treads is all we need. How much inventory do I have? Oh, I got plenty. Alright. Take a better look around this place. Like, you know, there might be something that I missed. Like, I don't remember seeing this. Mowing the lawn unnecessary at this time. Did I see that last time? I can't remember. Hmm. Rather not go spinning off that edge. But I do get the idea of, uh... Ooh. I do like the idea of setting up, like, a, a place to sit down, drink a bear, and just look off the edge of the world. That, that, I can totally get behind. There's more trash down there. Yeah, sure, let's skip down here. Duct tape. I'm game. Never know when duct tape uh, can come in handy. I mean, silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. Hmm. What good was a motorless car? The mechanic sure had an odd way to go about repairing things. I was using the motor in this flying spaceship. This music, man. Okay, there's nothing more that direction. And I'm not finding anything really this way either. Some logs. I still remember a guy threw something up one of those buckets, but... Yeah, the music is appropriate for this guy. But... Hmm. Maybe if I link them together, I can make a steel uh, or a tread for my snowmobile. green milk. I noticed that it's not exploded. I, I think that's pretty good. Sure, let's take another set of pliers. 
It's proper raccoon etiquette to just steal from everyone. So, I mean, why not? What are the crayons for? Hmm. Can you magnet the bucket? That's a good question. Uh, no, I'm not getting any option to do anything with the bucket. Why are there so many buckets hanging up here? Is it because when it rains it leaks, or... Is he just weird? Okay, well, let's warm up for a second. Oh, door's over here. And figure out what our next, uh... What our next thing is gonna be. Is there a tread in this bathroom? There's never anything in the bathroom. This makes me sad. I'm at this weird sort of dead end. I need one thing. I need a tread. But I have no clue where to find such a thing. More green milk. Actually, that really didn't lower my heat at all. As much as I was out there. So, okay. Ah, darn it. It's the wrong one. Previous section. Next section. Huh. What I needed are my documents. Yeah, the cut's pretty... Oh my god, are you fucking serious with this? I think we've hit note critical mass. Are those gloves, or are those my actual hands? My god, I'm fat. I'm looking for the parts list. Parts manual. Uh, suspension. Taking a puzzle apart is easy, but putting it back together is another story. Everything's up with the tracks. I left them close by. That doesn't help me. Define left them close by. So, I mean, that's the answer. It's around here. It's around this location. That's why I haven't found them. So, okay, we got to go out again because they're close by. Whatever in God's name that means. Oh, rocks, that's right. I'm serious, I can't believe I found a magnet that one time. Like, the magnet just happens to be in a locked, the only magnet in town happens to be in a locked cabin that you need a special key that I don't remember grabbing, frankly. Stealing a roadside is prohibited by law. Well, you know, all you have to tell him is that, hey, uh, that's, that's illegal, don't do that, and he'll stop, because it's illegal. Clearly, this guy has, has a, cares about the law. All right, well, we've checked out the inside of this guy, and frankly, I'm kind of not feeling the lantern anymore so we're switching back to the flashlight let's take a look r close by outside of this guy's property which I know kind of seems like a long shot but 
I'm honestly running out of ideas here. Western Animatech launch the garage. Animatech garage. Animatech garage. Animatech garage. Awesome. Like, maybe he chucked him over the edge? Because he's a misanthropic whore? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I meant a golden-hearted whore. Wait, was I right? No, it's, it's just a log. Huh? Are you fucking kidding me? Be right back. <laughs> this is fun. Would you like to sing the backtrack song with me? Are you ready? Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack, or and or and or again. <sighs> this game sucks, it's really painful, got a sense of deja vu. Hey, good to see you, I remember doing this shit five hours ago. Checking. Yeah, my my heat has hardly, you know, lowered even a, a mild bit. It really hasn't made a dent. All right, what's in here? Is it the tread? Talisman. Okay. Well, that's quite a cliff. Good thing I, good thing I was down here and got that talisman. That thing's gonna save my life. It, it actually might. I don't know. But uh, we have finally passed the point of close by, so the tread isn't this direction. I have three talismans. Like, there's a lot of noises that I can hear. Like, if you have headphones in, it's going to make you kind of look a little bit to the left or to the right. And I got to admit, um, that's a nice little effect. Uh, my only problem is, and I think this might just be me, but when I turn my camera, uh, it does not, the, the uh, thing in my left ear stays in my left ear. So I don't actually think it's uh, it's about whether or not something is over there. I think it's just atmosphere. Ah, tree branch. Could also be poorly coded sound. I don't know. You know, most of the stuff, say what you will about this game. It's it's simple and uh, it's it, it's actually have some pretty good attention. Like details done on this thing. It's it's not really that glitchy. It's pretty open wide. Nothing feels like out of the ordinary. Uh, even without a map, I can mostly find my way around this place. Like, it's not terrible.
I, I don't really like that I'm playing the pixel hunt game where somewhere, somewhere around this area is a tread. And it could be anywhere. It's, it's nearby. And you, you could be the one that finds it. Yes, you. And with it, you can... Uh, I am actually, I am really tempted to look up a walkthrough just to find this goddamn tread. Because, I mean, it's, that's the game stopper. That's what's stopping me from continuing the game right now. Oh! I forgot the pliers. Wait, don't I? Didn't I steal some pliers recently? Oh yeah, I did. Cool. A bit of gas, a new spark plug, and a key, and this thing would run perfectly. All he needed to do now was to find all that. Uh, I found all that. Huh. Sure, why not? Gas can, lantern, I could use the lantern. Keep that meat. I just... Wait. 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 No, 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 no. I've got the key, I've got everything else. I think I actually have a full tank of gas in my truck. Empty gas can? Ah, filled gas can. Yeah. Okay, key check. Spark blood check. Gas can check. Woo! Oh yeah, man. Oh god, it it turns like a bird in flight. Sporadic and small and it's actually quite unpleasant. <laughs> so, all right. Let's grab some materials. I want all the painkillers. Whoa, what did I just grab? Oh well, I want this gun. I want that. I want like two logs. Uh, I could look at all this, but uh, matches, sigs, axe, gun, two logs, that, extra lantern, Grab all but three fire starters. Definitely grab the steak. Keep the first day, the beer. Alright, what else do I want on this thing? Because this is going to be our new gig now. Uh, let's grab all the meat. That could actually be useful. Doesn't hurt to keep some duct tape or some uh, materials on us. Extra log. Uh, I think I have the pliers. Definitely the murder weapon. We're not going to fire it off. We just need it. A hammer just in case. And flares. Wait, what did I grab last time? Keep, uh, keep two meat handy. Keep the fire starter handy. 
How many logs did I put in here? 15 logs? Did I really grab 15 logs? Wait a second. Wait, did... How did all these lanterns get in here? Are these two... Are these two inventories attached to each other? That is... Weird. And... That's really... Am, am I wrong? Withdraw. Logs. Fifteen logs. Yeah. Well, I mean, can I turn off my engine? Because it's just going to be in front of this guy's quantum truck. No kidding. The truck is quantumly entangled with the, uh... With the satchel on the back of the... Snowmobile. Well, fuck it. We're pretty sure we know who the murderer is. Whoa! 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 Yeah! This is gonna take some getting used to. Also, no radio. That's a big minus. So the murderer is most likely the good doctor, but we only have some circumstantial evidence on him. The, uh, the main problem with him is he was fleeing the scene of the crime. Everybody kinda had a sort of motive, I guess, but he was the only one that's like our, our main suspect right now. He, We have the murder weapon, but we can't really print it since our own prints are all the fuck over it. Assuming Carl was wise enough not to actually use his, his ungloved hands. That's a big if. Come on, that's a big if. We don't know if that's true or not. There was a woman who died on the table in the doctor's place. That might have triggered him going off the rails. Now, I'd have to check our documents, but... I think we found out who she was by checking out the files. Not Isabel or whatever. So you fixed the raccoon mobile? Yeah, that is the name of this thing now. It's the raccoon mobile. It's no longer the snowmobile. Month has it down. So, yeah. All signs kind of point to the do good doctor. We also haven't found the doctor yet. We haven't found his body or anything. We found Lachant and his wife. We found the, the kook. And who was the other guy? I know we found somebody else. It is also very close to the end of uh, the mystery hour. Oh, really? I can't... I can't take a look at the map without pulling this out? Alright. Huh. Oh, we got the cabin key. It's quite a few hiking trails. What's that symbol over there? It looks like a, a tub. I guess that's where we'll take a bath. Well, I mean, we're close to the end of the hour, and I suspect we're close to the end of this game. Let's drive up to the Blase's house, warm up, and, um... There we go. And then we'll call this, uh, this episode good. 30 seconds reloading. Sorry, month. Oh, that's annoying. Oh yeah, the fourth guy was the, uh, the thing. The guy in the cave. So that's four people. That's four people to open up the wall. Unfortunately, month you came in just as we were stopping, so 
Whoop! That was creepy. All right. So let's go ahead and kill this. But tomorrow, um, I will be going beyond the wall, and we'll see. Yeah, it's fairly night. Who is the guy outside the store? What? Oh, there was a truck left over outside of the store, but we didn't actually see it. Oh, that was Lashant. The guy that was behind the store? You're talking about, like, well, I can't point on the map right here. But, yeah, I know what you mean. That was uh, Lashant. He was hunting a wolf, and then something surprised him and turned him into ice. That was the first guy we saw, and then we found his wife later. So... So, okay. Alright, that's going to do it for tonight's mystery hour as we kind of uncover this. So far, we've really only got circumstantial evidence on who we think the killer of Hamilton might be, but there's a larger picture involved here as to the Wendigo. We're assuming Wendigo? Uh, I've never heard of the Wendigo story and ice. I have heard of the Wendigo story and cannibalism, but that was... Maybe that's just a Cherokee myth or something. I'm in Cherokee country. Um... Okay, uh, that said, let's go ahead and uh, call it quits, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for coming in tonight.